The word of life offered to us by the liturgy today are the, is the phrase that Christ uses, the kingdom of God is among you. We see this manifested, you might say, from four different views, that of the Pharisees, that of Christ and his apostles, that of St. Paul and his followers, and that of Pope St. Leo, today's saint. The Pharisees were those devout Jews of, of the Old Testament who believed in the coming of a kingdom of God that would be a new creation to replace this damaged, sinful creation that we experience. Christ challenges them by this word, the kingdom of God is among you, both identifying himself personally, his identity as being the embodiment of the kingdom of God, but also giving access to the kingdom of God through him. St. Paul, 60 years later, you might say, 30 years later, is in, his, in that first reading today writing to his disciple Philemon about his new disciple, the slave Onesimus, and asking Philemon to extend the same fraternal charity to this slave that Paul himself had extended to Philemon. And he uses a beautiful phrase which illustrates the effect of the kingdom of God. He says, refresh my heart in Christ by this act of fraternal charity. Refreshing the heart is the law of the Lord, but Christ is, tells us that he is the law of the Lord. He is the kingdom of God. And St. Paul says that by extending fraternal charity, that is the kingdom of God to one another, we refresh our hearts. What a beautiful thought. Four centuries later, we see Pope St. Leo the Great in his role as successor of St. Peter, both illustrating and applying this understanding of Christ as God and man, but also in a very practical and courageous way, extending fraternal charity by his defense of Rome from Attila and the Huns at the, at the very outskirts of Rome. In ways theoretical and spiritual, but also in very practical ways, we are called to refresh one another to hearts by our extension of fraternal charity to one another, by, by extending the presence of Christ to others as we have experienced him. Even in the midst of the suffering and persecution that Christ himself told the apostles that he would undergo, we experience that as well. It's not always easy to extend fraternal charity to one another. Christ calls us to do exactly that if we want to refresh our hearts in Christ and in the kingdom of God, which indeed is among us.